a nuclear arms race. Two global superpowers locked in a fight for nuclear domination. Between the years of 1945 and 1991, the United States and the Soviet Union built over 100,000 nuclear weapons, each side trying to achieve nuclear domination over the other. This was the Cold War. The nuclear arms race began in 1945 with the first successful test of the atomic bomb, Trinity. On July 24, 1945, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin was officially briefed on the existence of the atomic bomb at the Potsdam Conference. Two weeks later, atomic bombs were dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, ending World War II. At this point, the Soviet Union did not yet have the bomb. But that was about to change. On August 29, 1949, the Soviet Union detonated its first atomic bomb. This shocked the Western world, who had believed that the USSR would not have the bomb until at least the mid-1950s. The source of their success was soon discovered. Soviet spies operating inside the Manhattan Project. Now that they were no longer the only nation with the atomic bomb, the United States set its sights on the next phase in nuclear weaponry. The hydrogen bomb. On November 1st, 1952, the United States detonated its first hydrogen bomb with a yield 20 times greater than any traditional fission bomb. August 1953, the Soviet Union explodes its first thermonuclear bomb. March 1st, 1954, Castle Bravo the largest bomb ever detonated by the United States. 14.8 megatons, the equivalent of 14.8 million tons of TNT. This battle for the biggest bomb continued for several years, culminating 1961. On October 30th, 1961, the Soviet Union detonated Tsar Bomba. With a yield of 57 megatons, this was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated and the largest human-made explosion in history. However, by this point in the arms race, focus had shifted to intercontinental ballistic missiles capable of delivering multiple megaton nuclear warheads to targets thousands of miles away. The introduction of ICBMs brought about a new era of the Cold War. Mutually Assured Destruction if either side had launched nuclear missiles, the other would retaliate, and both countries would be obliterated. Through the 1960s and 1970s, both nations expanded and upgraded their missiles and warheads. Thankfully, None of these weapons were ever used. 
By the end of the 1980s, the Cold War was coming to a close, and the arms race was ending. The United States and the Soviet Union signed several nuclear disarmament treaties, and both sides began to reduce their nuclear stockpiles. In 1991, the Soviet Union dissolved, and the Cold War was finally over.